All right, Jerry, thanks. And uh, here with the coach. Coach, tough loss here to Arizona tonight, 31-24. Very good Arizona team that uh, played their tails off in what ended up a, two, a, a game of two different halves. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, you know, again, first and foremost, give them credit. Um, they they played really well. QB got hot in the second half, and and we didn't make enough plays to win. Didn't uh, uh, starting with me, we, you know, we weren't smart enough. Uh, didn't didn't uh, do a lot of things, a lot of uncharacteristic errors tonight, uh, from a communication standpoint, from a penalty standpoint, and uh, some things that we got to get uh, rectified. Hard to imagine that this game was going to be 7-3 at halftime. I don't think anybody would have thought that. But, boy, I'll tell you what, that first half, your defense played some tremendous football against Arizona. They played really well. You know, they had the kind of a little fluky play that got uh, batted right back to the quarterback, and he had a, you know, that's probably the biggest play of the half. Uh, did a decent job uh, assignment football-wise, created a couple turnovers, uh, and weren't able to capitalize on You know, and that was probably the story of the game if, we, if you know, the offense – Complements the defense in the first half. We're, we're talking about a different situation, but that's where again give them credit and you know drops, penalties, assignment errors, uh, just things that we have to clean up. And an athletic defense that you were playing against too. That three three five again. I, I know you've seen it before, but uh, it was one of those things. It, was, it looked like it was tough to get in any type of rhythm with the athleticism of that defense. Well, yeah, they, they you know their their plan was pretty simple: rush three and and you know make us kind of chink and dink and dunk yeah. and, and, and uh, we didn't we didn't sustain drives and and again give them credit and we've got some stuff definitely that we can clean up and uh, anytime Arizona particularly when they begin to find that balance in the second half run the ball pretty well it sets up the pass which helps out Anu Solomon a lot definitely <laughs> definitely yeah. I don't know what his second half numbers were but he was he was uh, outstanding the tailback ran hard um, and you know again you got to give them credit and and uh, there's a bunch of bunch of you know hurt guys in there right now of coulda woulda shoulda uh, had them had them stop there at the end and in, in a you know a silly silly play uh, that again I'll I'll take the blame for that and, and uh, talk to Tony and you know it was not not the uh, not the right time to to obviously have that have that uh, deal come up made some some plays to keep yourself in it too a big fourth and eleven to Devin Allen down to inside the you know ten yard line and so it was one of those ones where even though it was a struggle you guys made some key plays to keep yourself in it at times too absolutely I mean we have you know we, we believe we have a ton of fi firepower in every phase and and you know when we're clicking on all cylinders it's it's a lot of fun we had, we didn't complement um, one another well enough you know had a big return there called back as well um, that that you know, we're setting up shop in a, in a completely different mindset when you're inside the 10 versus wherever that, I can't remember that was 40, 45 yard line area. So we'll come back tomorrow morning and uh, we'll, you know, start to turn the page. What did you say to him? I mean, what was the general, the message to him afterwards? Because as you said, that's a very disappointing team in there, but uh, mm -hmm. you, you got to go to the next week and you can't Absolutely. look backwards. Yeah, they won't feel sorry for us. Uh, just exactly that. I thought we played hard. For the most part, uh, we didn't necessarily play smart enough or cleanly enough, and that starts with me first, our coaches second, and and the players executing that third. And and uh, we'll come back tomorrow and, and continue to take care of each other, make great decisions, and, and flip the page. All right, Coach. Well, thanks for your time tonight, and we'll talk to you from Los Angeles next weekend. All right. Thanks, Jorge. All right, Jerry, back up to you. Questions for Coach Elford. Back. You indicated back your mark. You indicated there was a lot that you wanted to work on. What? Where are you going to start? What, what area are you most concerned about at this point? Well, there's obviously things in every phase that that need to be uh, rectified. You know, we we didn't for for some reason we had a bunch of assignment busts on the perimeter, which we haven't had ever. Uh, part of that was a communication issue. Uh, we missed a couple of uh, signs in the first half, which is never happened uh, and just came up at, at inopportune times. We had it, you know, uh, three times where we ran the wrong route and that, that hasn't happened. Yeah, it's happened a couple of times, but, but not, not uh, to the degree it happened tonight. Uh, didn't play cleanly enough in any phase, you know, defensively played well in the first half, really, really well enough and to, to win and, and didn't, didn't compliment one another well enough. And then the second half, a couple guys were doing, you know, a little peaking to do somebody else's job. And so it's just, you know, it, it, it's a lot harder to learn or let a lot. It's, it's much more difficult to watch the film after a loss than a win, but you have, again, give them a ton of credit. I think that's a very talented team and they, they, they had a good night.
Right here, Steve. Mark, on on Tony's penalty there, what did you see and, and what did they tell you they called and, and do you have a conversation with him? What he say? Uh, yeah, I had a conversation with him, and you know, it's it's. I, I believe a lot in Tony Washington, and, and that's you know not a, not a very good time to, to make that play. Uh, I, that's a very that's a, a penalty that's very open to interpretation, and we've been called twice for it. Um, and you know, we'll have a discussion about that. In the back, Warren. Mark, um, you talked a, a little bit early on about um, you not um, you taking the blame. You said that a couple times. Can you maybe talk about that? you're obviously not on the field, but what blame can you take in, in this, this game? If we don't play cleanly mentally, that's, that's on, on me. Uh, I thought we played hard. I did think we played hard. Uh, we came out, we came out ready to play, but for whatever reason, we, we weren't communicating well. And that's, that's, it's all my responsibility. Trainer Jake. Coach, you said that uh, they, they rushed three and what, what is it about the three, three, five specifically that was difficult for, uh, for the offense? Well, anytime you can pressure the passer with a three-man rush, you can you can defend a lot of, of other things, and you can change up your coverage. You can, you know, limit limit the the ability to to throw the ball downfield, and that was what they did for the most you know the the, the vast majority of the night. Will, coach, can you uh, talk a little bit about what maybe you saw as as far as Marcus trying to throw the ball? It, it seemed like they were confusing him a lot with coverages, keeping him in the pocket, making him climb the pocket as opposed to getting outside. Um, what did you see from his performance? I didn't think he was confused at all. You know, again, we had a few few busts in the first half. Of we had, you know, what we thought were, were touchdown type situations that that again for whatever reason we we didn't execute, and we'll, we'll get that fixed. Um, but I, I don't think it was a matter of confusing. I think it's a matter of any time you can again get pressure with three guys and 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 mix coverage, those odds aren't good. How they how they rushed. That that's it's kind of what they did to us last year in a lot in a lot of ways uh, as the game as the game went on. On the right halfway back, Austin. Mark, did did that look like the same team you saw against Michigan State, or did you see something different tonight? It, it doesn't doesn't matter. I mean, you know, the the we're the same you know group of guys at this at this stage in the at this stage in the season. Everybody's different. You know, and there's 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 things that you're doing better. There's things that you, you need to improve upon. There's you know other factors involved, and so the team you put out there every week is the you know the best available guys, and I believe 100 100 percent in every single guy in that locker room. Far side, Mark is Arizona the closest thing you see to your team on an annual basis, and if so, is that a reason why they're such trouble? Um. That's a good question. I think there's a lot of teams that are similar offensively in the in the in the Pac-12 now. Uh, you know, Washington to SC kind of adopted this system. As, you know, Arizona State, UCLA, uh, Cal is Cal is a little bit different. Washington State's a little bit different. Um, but there's 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 a bunch of teams like that. Mark, obviously, it's not something you want to get you want to get good at but you've dealt with losses before what did you learn anything from the previous losses that this team has had about how to talk to players and and the mindset you want to try and get them going forward these guys are resilient again there's there's some you know a bunch of hurt guys in there but the, the players are a lot more resilient than i think people give them credit for uh you know the coaches sometimes are the guys that, that dwell on things a little bit longer and we'll we'll help everybody flip that page but it's just like after a win we identify things that we need to sustain we identify things that we need to improve upon and we'll do the same thing after this game aj in the back right coach what was it about uh, that read option that arizona was running that was giving you guys trouble tonight again parts of it are uh it depends on you know the play both offensively and defensively, but a lot of it just comes down to assignment football, one-on-one, uh, one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one matchups, either in the air or in space, and they do a great job. They run, they run more than most people of running a run play and then having a lot of downfield routes, uh, and so they, and again, they did, they did a nice job executing it. Cronus is available in here. Just a couple more questions, for Coach Elfrich, right over here. Mark, do you, what do you think this result means going forward for this year? Uh, means we're four and one, and there's a ton of ball left to be played. 
you know, I think this this conference is, is proving, just as we said as the, at the outset, is an extremely deep and talented conference, and uh, our guys will come back ready to rock for, for our next opponent. Coach Frost is in the back. One more question right here. Coach, do you think it'll make a difference at all trying to turn that page when you've got a, a top 10 team in UCLA coming next week, big game, big atmosphere. Does that make any difference at all? Do you think to the players to maybe, maybe if it does, we'll use it as a positive. Uh, but I think our guys, again, they'll, they'll, they'll learn from this and, and we'll get, and get you know get ready to get back to train. We'll have a little shakeout kind of situation tomorrow. Uh, we'll, we'll get the film uh, done, get, get this game sewn up and put away and move on. Thank you coach. Yep.